Punk Revolution. Today we're talking. I just want to give my quick review, my quick reaction, my thoughts to the new Drake and Twenty One Savage collaboration album. Her loss. Let's just say, as someone who's been listening to hip hop since before most of you were even a conceived of a thought by your fathers, you know what? I've been listening to hip hop and rap and gangster rap and boom bap and other subgenres of rap. And you all have no freaking clue how epic this freaking Drake and 21 Savage album is. Finding out Drake and 21 Savage were collaborating was like me finding out if Jesus Christ and Muhammad teamed up and formed a new religion that literally the entire planet agreed on was factual and correct and perfect with all its moral values. And we all collectively as a society became one religion around the world and all war ended and there's no more borders and we all live in a utopia of one epic, beautiful utopia. That to me is what it was like finding out Drake and 21 Savage was collaborating and essentially saving hip hop. Let's just say that Drake we all know, if you like Drake, that deep down he is a B.A., a bad arse. He is capable of ripping your soul in two when he needs to become a freaking gangster with his diss tracks. But ever since Views, his music has been very romantic and sensual, like, uh, like, a, like, a, like a handsome alpha male that's cuddling you and protecting you, which, by the way, I think is very good. But he has the inner gangster inside of him that needed he needed 21 Savage to help him unlock. So 21 Savage and Drake teaming up in a tough, epic, freaking gangster punk album blew my freaking mind. And look at the freaking album cover. This is freaking amazing. This is so avant-garde and experimental. No freaking artist in the world has done an album cover that looks anything like this. It's very modern and forward thinking. And everyone on the Twitter who says they don't like it is because they're not creative enough to understand avant-garde art such as this. And this is an experimental hip hop album. So of course you're gonna have an experimental, artistic, artsy. Like this to me looks like something that Supreme would do. And Supreme is the coolest br brand ever. So of course this album cover is freaking cool as heck. So we have Drake and we have 21 Savage teaming up on her loss and look I'm a feminist. I don't want to hear about her loss. I want to about hear about her wins But let's just say even though the title is her loss you can tell there's that Drake and 21 Savage they're let's say lots of women are winning this album is basically just an hour long about listening to Drake and 21 Savage explore their sexual victories. Just constantly an hour long of sing to them singing about having epic smecks. And I am so happy for Drake, I'm happy for 21 Savage, and I'm happy for the ladies that they are getting to make love with because this is, they're clearly two alpha males. Let's just say listening to an hour long album about hearing about two guys explain how they're having epic smecks is literally awesome. And that's what basically happened to this album too. I guess you could say chats. They're basically two chats. Drake actually has a, okay, so first off, they have an awesome pro-choice line in there. Her loss, more like, yeah, her, yeah, her loss of choice. That's what I, that's what, that's the way I like to interpret the title, because I'm trying to make it a feminist title in my head, so I think her loss is her loss of choice. I'm someone from Brooklyn, by the way. I live in Brooklyn. So when I say this is on par with Biggie Smalls, or if not, if, if not better, you can take my word on it. Drake did put a little line in there about how Megan Thee Stallion was maybe lying about getting shot for attention. I don't know anything about this. I don't really... I, I, let me just say it. Let me just say it this way. Everyone's mad at Drake because... They're they're saying you you're it's not nice to 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 dismiss a victim's story of getting shot, and it's cr cruel to say they were shot for attention. It's misogynist. Um. Okay. First off, we know Drake's not a misogynist because he's clearly, um, he has a pro-choice line. But second, if Drake is saying that it's all a made-up story and that Megan Thee Stallion wasn't actually shot. I'm not gonna do any. I'm not gonna do any digging, and I'm not gonna do any research on it. But if Drake is saying that Megan the Stallion was not shot, of course we're gonna believe Drake because Drake is freaking epic. Maybe we should maybe think that Megan the Stallion was lying because that's what Drake said. Just getting, just getting honest with you. Twenty One Savage is a freaking beast. Mm. 
Twenty one. Okay, so that's why he's called Twenty One Savage because he's a beast. He's twenty. He's a beast. He's. Some people say he's a beast times twenty one. I agree with that. I think he's a beast to the power of twenty one. It's a bigger number. The only thing with this album is like you have two alpha males in the same room. There can only be one alpha male in the room. In theory, according to the gender theory research I've read online, there can only be one alpha male wolf in the room at once. And they put two alpha male wolves in one album, which should in theory be dangerous. But instead we have them kind of doing a super saiyan fusion into a ultra alpha wolf. It's kind of my theory. And with that, that is my initial reaction. We can safely say this is a classic. I think we can safely say it invented a new subgenre of hip hop. We'll call it epic alpha wolf trap epic alpha wolf trap that's what happens when you put two alpha males in the same album and you listen for a whole hour long of them just rapping about making money and having smicks yes that's just what i needed for the morning all right well that's all i have to say for my initial review thanks for watching please like and subscribe punk revolution now